What is going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to another episode of There Is Only Warhammer and from the Warhammer community uh, website on this occasion we have new Primaris Space Marines and Death Guard announced. That's right. That's pretty awesome. So, here we go. Hot off the heels of Dark Imperium, there's even more Death Guard and Primera Space Marines landing soon. The releases begin next week with two new Champions of Humanity, and then in July an array of getting started products making it easier than ever to get involved in the 41st millennium. So there we've got the, uh, the cover of Dark Imperium there. And here we have a pretty awesome looking chap. Uh, look at that. So let's just read that. The Primaris Captain is a stoic, indomitable commander posed urging his army forward. He's Im it's immediately clear that the Captain is as much a leader as he is a fighter. Although a power sword and bolter imply masteries in both ranged and close quarters combat, this is a model that's going to look right at home in the thick of your intercessors and hellblasters while managing to stand out on his own terms. Perfect, given his role as a frontline leader both on the tabletop and in the background. There's no chapter specific iconography on the model, meaning whatever, whichever space marine chapter you collect you'll be able to paint and personalise your primaris captain to match. The kit also has options for different heads and weapons allowing for even greater customization. And I can see some obvious amazements of conversions that you, um, that you guys do uh, to further that as well. I mean, look at that. Let's get a bit closer. There we are. So that, that looks pretty impressive to me. I, I'm just super stoked with all the detail these guys have got now. Um, I mean, I was pretty impressed with it before but I mean just look at it really cool so that's him and got another one here look the Primaris Librarian Ooh. right the Primaris Librarian blends the noble bearing of the Primaris Captain with a wealth of occult detail and Baroque cybernetics indicative indicative of a darker more mysterious kind of warrior he is a warrior mystic trained in both physical and psychic warfare and this carries over to the positioning of the miniature itself one hand wields a deadly force sword while the other is raised as if to smite the foe with psychic power like the captain you're free to customize the librarian to suit any chapter you like barring the black templars who refuse to, to tarry with such foul sorcery you can either build the librarian bareheaded or with a custom helm linked to his psychic hood so let's have a closer look at him wow that's a pretty cool head with a, a sort of aged space marine on there uh, some cybernetics going in oh yeah that's really really cool i like that uh, some sort of arcane book of knowledge there that's padlock to him keys for who knows what yeah it's a good it's a good pose i like that the robes of course all add to it right like that in july both the primary space marines and the death guard are getting new units starting with the reavers of the adeptus of starters these um, many of these getting started kits will be in the easy to build format meaning they'll be easy to assemble that's gonna be like snap fit and all that kind of stuff they're made of colored plastic and you won't even need glue but of course we will use glue um, there are also two new getting started boxes and a getting start and a getting started with Warhammer 40,000 book coming soon, giving you a range of options for beginning your journey in the 41st millennium. Well, these look interesting, don't they? Our first easy to build kit of the new edition features the Reavers. Uh, these guys are the guerrilla specialists of the Primera Space Marines, and their miniatures have a threatening predatory feel. In contrast to the stalwart intercessors and reavers, the reavers appear to be advancing toward forwards equipped with suppressed bolt pistols and brutal looking combat blades. They look a bit intimidating, I have to say. Yeah. 
okay. Strip down Mark 10 armor allows for a good look at how this newest mark of Space Marine armor functions with the midset of the model showing uh, the midsection of the model showing thick bundles of fibrous cabling. This is the mechanical muscle that lets the Reavers punch through concrete, sprint in full plate and leap through ruins uh, and jungles. Finally, each Reaver wears the visage of a leering skull. These guys aren't just about stealth, but terror. Even if you've already got an Imperial army, Reavers will make a great addition to your force. And there are rules in the box to let you uh, start adding them to your game straight away. Ooh. On to these guys. These are going to be... Uh, for me, I think these guys are going to be... Um, take me a while to paint, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it, which will be soon. The Plague Marines, easy to build, uh, offer features, models as varied and finely details as those found in the Dark Imperium box. Bloated bodies, all but spilling from rusting ancient power armour. The Plague Champion is particularly grotesque and is one of the first Death Guard miniatures to go completely bareheaded, giving us a glimpse at what little remains of his humanity. Uh. The Blight Launcher in the kit is a great visual reference to the history of the Death Guard, and eagle-eyed hobbyists will notice the similarities to weapons from the Horus Heresy, blending design elements from the grenade launchers wielded by the Death Shroud Terminators and rad missile launchers equipped by destroyers. It's a great way to tie the Death Guard to their historical roots and an indication of the horrific weapons they bring to bear in the reaping to come. Whether you're bolstering your forces from Dark Imperium or starting your own Vectorum, this easy-to-build kit is a great way to do it. Yeah, I see what they mean. Bold head. Old bear head. Yeah, that's good. Okay. They do remind me of zombies. <laughs> and these guys even more so. These, like, are zombies as far as I'm concerned. Finally, you'll be able to bolster your plague-ridden hordes with easy-to-build poxwalkers. Like their unfortunate compatriots in Dark Imperium, these miniatures are ridden with all manner of horrific diseases and go to battle wielding the last vestiges of their personal lives as improvised weapons. Poxwalkers make for a powerful choice in any Chaos army, and thanks to their diseased horde rule, we imagine you'll have your you'll have quite a few of them. So these designs are a great way to add variety and character to a unit. Whether you're yet to take your first steps into Warhammer 40,000 and are looking for the easiest way to start a new collection, or you're already looking for ways to bolster your armies from Dark Imperium, it's going to be an exciting few weeks of new releases. Isn't it just? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we've seen that kind of thing before. And that sort of thing just reminds me of uh, Zombicide, really. <laughs> right, okay. These products will be released alongside our new ways to get started. The first of these is our Getting Started with Warhammer 40,000 Handbook. This 103 page guidebook is the perfect guide for any Warhammer 40,000 beginner, giving a thorough overview of the universe of the 41st millennium, how the game works and the different armies you can collect. It also comes with an easy to build intercessor and a set of core rules, allowing you to take the first steps of your journey for around the price of a white dwarf. Hmm. Sounds good. First Strike, on the other hand, is a great box set for both new and experienced players of Warhammer 40,000. For new players, there's everything you need to, in the box to start playing, including uh, miniatures, rules and a guidebook, taking you through a series of handy scenarios to teach you to play. There's a double-sided gaming mat in the box and it's printed so that it doubles as a set of cardboard monitorum armoured containers, meaning you'll have somewhere to play for your first few games. The box uh, the box itself contains all our new easy to build miniatures 
but for almost half the price you'd pay if you got them all separately. It's also a great way to get your hands on all the new releases in one place. There's also a pocket-sized battle primer that'll be helpful uh, for you whether you're playing your first few games or you're a seasoned veteran in need of quick reference guide. That's good. Uh, that's good. I like that. So this is kind of a, a, a mini mini set then. Okay. Yeah, just just to get you with the real basics, I imagine. More like a skirmish, skirmish scenarios. Yeah, that's cool for starting people. I like that. Okay. Finally, No No Fear is great for players looking to make a comprehensive start, containing full armies for the Death Guard and the Primera Space Marines, as well as getting a patrol detachment's worth of miniatures for each side. You'll get rules, your guide to getting started, a gaming mat and the and card scenery, all for nearly half the price of Dark Imperium. So you only, you only need to sell one house. Haha. <laughs> Combined with the easy to build kits, you'll be able to assemble a diverse and powerful force of Death Guard or Primary Space Marines in no time. I'm only kidding. Uh, it sounds like great value for money to me, it does. Um, you can expect to see the Primary Librarian and Primary Captain available for pre order next weekend, while the new Getting Started products will be available shortly after that. For those of you who want to get involved with the complete Warhammer 40,000 experience, Dark Imperium contains f two full armies of miniatures and alongside the complete rulebook, which features detailed background and advanced rules. Get yours now in store or online. Ooh, I have mine. So this one here is, uh, is just a little more, a little more comprehensive. Yeah, it's, they're like it's just like simplified versions of um, Dark Imperium. Dark Imperium, I would say, like the you know, obviously the more comprehensive one, than this mid-range one, than this uh, real small one. There, yeah. that's what my guess is, but uh, time will tell. I'll have a look closer later on. But there you are. That's uh, it for this episode. Uh, some exciting new releases coming out soon, by the looks of things, and I'm uh, excited to be you know having the opportunity to get them uh, in the near future and it looks to me like i'll probably will be getting them he 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 right okay remember all brushes lead to all guys thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video bye for now bye bye